Welcome to the Lab Tech uh, Online Academy. This is just a quick how to video on how to do things. At the moment, this is our home page. If I just scroll down through the home page here, uh, there's a lot of really good information. Some of the testimonials here from uh, some of our users already uh, about what it is all about, our online courses, and how important they are to help you achieve uh, and update your skills. Uh, and if I scroll down here, these are the areas that we have at the moment. We have automotive, HVAC being air conditioning refrigeration, STEM tech, which is the technical side of STEM. We've got some courses in there and electrical basics. And of course, down the very bottom, our contact details. And if any inquiries or support required, there's an email address there. So coming back up the top here, if I go into my shop, this is where we enroll and register for the Lab Tech Academy. So first thing I would do is I'd go into my sign up and enter in all my details. Here, if I scroll down, everything that has a red asterisk means it is mandatory that you complete these details. And again, there's extra information we would like you to fill in, but it's not mandatory. And then I would go back up the top here click the privacy policy. If you would like to receive anything about study options or news, please click this box here and then process my subscription. After you process your subscription, you will receive two emails. One email will be with your registration details, which by the way, you can update at any stage. And then the second email is act activation for your email. So this activation email may also go into your spam or junk folder, so please check that. And once you click on that, you'll be activated. So you then, you can come back and log in. So once I log in here, if I log in and put in my password, Okay, so this is just processing now my username and password and then you'll see now it confirms all my registration details but I have a change at the top here I now have my courses so if I go into my courses I have automotive which I've registered for aircon refrigeration the stem tech and electrical basics so you can now go direct into the course by saying okay I'm going to go into my automotive which will take me straight into automotive here. At any time, I can look at my grades and jump into the other courses on my left menu here. I can close that menu down at any time by just clicking back up the top here in this little blue box here so I can open it and close it. I then would go into one of any of these courses here by clicking on, let's say, hybrid transaxle. Now here we have our pretest and our content and our post test. Pre-test is one attempt only. It's not saying seeing how good or how bad you are. It's just giving us an idea how much you understand about this particular topic. I would then go into the pre-test. After that, and that's got to be completed first, I can then get into my content. So once in my content, I can go in and look at the learning objectives, which is here. I have a complete glossary on automotive, so I can type in, if, for instance, here, if I want to look at brakes, I type in brakes, it gives me everything that's relevant to brakes here. So it's a full automotive glossary that, that you can search on, and that's available in all the topics. I then have my background theory, and my background theory is like a textbook. It's everything you need to understand and know about the hybrid engine transaxle. So some really good reading there. And then video, we're still working on the videos. You'll see that's currently under construction. And then I have my component ID. This is actually component identification using 3D gaming technology. So this is going to load up now. And this can take, you saw a note there, anything from you know 30 seconds, possibly up to two minutes, depending on your bandwidth. If you find your Wi-Fi is around or two or three Mbps download speed, we suggest you hook into your 4G, because 4G is a lot faster. It doesn't use up a lot of your mobile data plan, and it's, it's said, a, a lot faster. So here now, I can click and get descriptions. So if I get a description here, 
I can get a description here. Now, another great feature of this uh, 3D gaming technology is that there's various ways that you can zoom out, zoom in, and this is using either your mouse button or your trackpad on your laptop with the pinch, or if it's touch screen, pinching uh, out and pinching in. So here I'm just scrolling my mouse button um, to bring it out, scrolling back down using my mouse wheel on the mouse. So then I can hold down the left hand button on my mouse and scroll it around. So this allows me to look at the component from various different angles. It's a great feature and it looks very real. So that's component identification and then I have my animations. Again we also have assembly, disassembly and functional animations. Also. And then of course I have different types of formative assessments. I have a component location assessment, an assembly assessment and a reference assessment. Reference assessment is like your normal multiple choice. Close that down. And then after I've been through, and the normal hours is average between four to five hours, and then I would do my hybrid transactional post test. You actually get three attempts at this, and the good news is very soon we'll have available certificates of completion for anyone that actually gets 80% or higher in their post test, and they will be automatically generated. So I'll just log back out now, back up on the top right here, I can log out, and I'm back out logged out here. Again, if I want to log into some of my other courses, I can log in here and log back in. Thank you very much. Please enjoy the learning experience.